What's up guys? So we're going to get started with coding up our Android app today. So first thing I want to do is make sure you have Android Studio installed and we're just going to create a new project. So I'm going to call mine Munchie2 and then just set your company domain to your name so mine's been a lot.com and then go next I'm gonna do uh, API 19 this gets most of them uh, most uh, devices so each one of these is a software version that a phone uses uh, API 19 captures most of them like on my phone I have nugget but some people have older versions not too many have jelly beans, so we don't have to worry about this. And this gives us most of our uh, functionality. As you know, you support more versions, you can't use newer things. So you have to be careful about that. We're just going to use an empty activity. Main activity is fine, and we're just going to finish. Let that build. And the first thing that we're going to do once this is finished building is go into our layout and create a, the layout that you saw. We're going to create some text views and a image view and a text view at the very bottom. And then we're just going to, today, we're going to hook it up using Picasso. So I'll show you guys that real quick. Um, we're going to cook up the image view with Picasso, load in a view, and then also get the swipe gestures working. So there's this really good Stack Overflow post that shows you how to. Um, create an on swipe touch listener and we're just going to actually just copy it straight from here because this is good code um, and then we override these functions to swipe right left top and bottom so I'll show you guys how to integrate that let's see if it's finished building and it is cool so it's going to build at the bottom that's fine so I, first thing we're going to go into a res layout our main activity and we're just going to go into the text and we're going to create a text view. So this will be at the very top. And we'll give this an ID. In order to give this one second to finish indexing so we can get our auto complete working. There we go. ID. This will be the title, title label. For now, let's do a demo. Uh, pizza shop. Um, and then let's create our image view. And we also want to make sure our image view is going to be at the top. So align parent top. True. And we want the width to match parent. This makes the text view expand across the whole width of the screen, of the phone screen, which we want. Um, and we want to give the gravity center. This centers it in the middle of the screen. And then we just want it to be as tall um, as it is. And then we're going to create an image view below that. And we're just going to create layout width. It's going to be match parent. And the height is going to be match parent as well. We just want it to be as big as it can be. And then we're going to um, give it an ID. Main image and it's going to be below our title label and then we can close that and we're going to create a text view this is going to be at the very bottom again we can match the width and the height will wrap and this is going to be below our main image again we want to center this in the middle And instead, I want to uh, sandwich the image view between these two. Right now, if we just leave it like this, uh, the image view will be on top of this text view. So we're going to say align parent bottom. Parent bottom is true. So right now we have the, this text view at the top. And this one's at the top. It's forced by this aligned. This one's forced at the bottom. And then what we want to do with this image view is just sandwich it in between. So we're going to lay out it below the top one and we're going to lay out above our oops, we didn't give it an ID yet. Give this guy an ID. 
So we can say this is, um, this will have the cost and the category. Um, actually, it's not going to have the cost, it's going to have the rating. So rate and then cat, rate cat. And we'll give it label. So we're going to do, we're going to lay out above that. So what's happening is we have this guy at the top, this guy at the bottom, and then we're sandwiching this image view in between. So it's below the top one, but it's above the bottom one. Okay, so those are there. Let's just give this some sample text. Oops, we want just text. Oh, just kidding. We want to give that to our bottom to our cost category, not that. So let's say this has a 4.2 rating and this is Italian food. Now our layout is good in our main activity in our on create. We're just going to create some text views. Text view. This will be import the class. This will be restaurant title and then we're also going to have a rate and then category and then we'll have our image view which is going to be the main image so we're going to have m restaurant title is equal to this is a text view I'm just going to use find view by ID R dot ID dot M title label. This grabs and initializes the text view. And we're going to do the same thing for our rate cat. And then we're going to do it for our image view. And we need to import this class. And main image is equal to a tech, uh, image view. Find view by ID r dot id dot main image. Okay. So now, if we run that, I'm going to run this on my emulator. Um, what's going to happen is right now we have nothing in our image, but we should have the title and the category showing up at the bottom. And then what we need to do is we're going to load in that image with Picasso. So we're going to load in a dummy image for now. So let's go ahead and see if it's built on our emulator. Looks like we got no resource found like given the following name it looks like. Main image. So let's, it looks like we have, oh, uh, this, this we don't want to do below anymore. We're not doing this below the main image. We want the image to be below that so rebuild that. That was our text view at the very bottom. I originally was thinking we want to have the text view below the image view but instead we want the image view we want to lay it out this way so the image view fits in between. Um, so to add Picasso this is a external library so what we're going to be doing is at the very bottom of this web page there's going to be, here it is, um, a little compile for Gradle. So we're just going to copy this and we're going to use that in a second here. But let's see, did it finish building it? Nope, Gradle is still building. We'll let that finish building. If we go to here, module app, we're just going to paste in uh, Picasso right here um, whenever this is finished building. So it looks like it's just about finished building. We can go take a look at that when that's finished. Launching that activity. And here we are. So we're not seeing the text. Oh, here we are. We're seeing the text now. So there's this pizza shop in Italian. And then our image is blank. So let's add that image in next. So you're going to go into Gradle scripts, build.gradle, the one that has module app. And then the dependencies, we're just going to add Picasso as one of our dependencies. And then we're going to sync Gradle. And now you go back to our main activity and we can use Gradle. So I'm just going to copy the example that they have. We're just going to use that. Come on in here. And now our context 
that we're passing this. And then our image view is main image. And let's go ahead and import that in. Stack these nicely. Okay. Now let's rerun our application. Now we should see a little image in the middle there. And then the next thing I just want to do for the last thing for this video is just to add in that. So all right, finish building. All right, and hopefully in a second here, we should get Picasso load in the image. Let's see if we can get our monitor, see if it says, oh yes. So if we come in here, we should get a air. Um, doesn't look like it. It looks like it's silently failing. So if you notice what Picasso does is it loads an image from the internet. And in Android, to load an to image off the internet, you have to first ask for permission to use the internet. So we're going to create a permission. Uses permission. And it's internet. Okay, so we just need to add that to our Android manifest. Now if we rerun our application, hopefully Picasso will show up with our image. So this is now it should have uh, permission to actually go to uh, the internet and grab the image. And there we are. Now we have this image pulling from Picasso. Very cool. Next thing I want to do is actually detect swipes. So for example, if I swipe this way, swipe that way, nothing's happening. I want to be able to detect swipes on that image view. So I'm just going to go over here and copy this code. I will leave a link to this Stack Overflow um, page in the comments of YouTube uh, or description below. and uh, Or you can go to this link right here and add it. So we're just going to create a new file. believe it was on swipe listener and we're just going to paste it in get rid of that stuff and then see what it doesn't like you just go over here and go ahead and implement it all oh and it looks like I misnamed the file so we're just going to rename the file and very cool. So that should be working now. So we create our listener, and then to use it, all we're going to do is set an on touch listener for our image view. So I'm just going to do m main image dot set on touch listener new on swipe touch listener, which is the one we just made. Is that right? on swipe listener yeah and then we're passing in this and then and then we're just going to add we're going to override these uh, public methods right here Okay, import these. We're just passing in this. Main activity of this. We want main activity instead of my activity. Delete that. Okay, so we just added an on touch listener to our main. Uh, image and then for now when we swipe to the top we're just gonna make a toast when we swipe to the right we make a toast and for each direction we make a toast so I'm just gonna restart the app and then go see if our on swipe listener is correctly working and then once we get this working the next step is to actually load a new image when we swipe that direction so I'm gonna swipe up it says top cool now if I swipe down oops says bottom, swipe to the right, 
get right, swipe to the left, I get left. Very cool. So we that's going to be the end of this video for now. What we got working is we got a basic little app going. We got our image view loading. We got um, text at the bottom and the top. Um, and then we also got a swipe listener for our image view. So we can now detect which way the user is swiping. And in the next video, we'll be loading in different images and talking to the Yelp API. So thanks for watching, guys.